Thanks for staying with us. And still in the news, organized labor, industrialists, and civil rights groups on Sunday condemned the hike in electricity tariffs by the federal government. Labor has described the electricity tariff hike as a daylight robbery, considering the epileptic power supply in the country. The Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, on its part, berated the federal government for increasing the tariffs and doing nothing about the estimated billing by distribution companies. The Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission, NERC, had on Saturday directed the 11 electricity distribution companies in the country to increase their tariffs beginning from April. An analysis of the latest Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission directive shows that the federal government's agency has actually increased tariffs payable by all the major classes of power consumers. Residential customers in the R3 category under Ikeja Disco, who currently pay 26 Naira 5 Kobo per kilowatt, will start paying 36 Naira 49 Kobo per kilowatt beginning from April, indicating an increase of 9 Naira 99 Kobo. Commercial customers in the C3 category under this Disco, who currently pay 24 Naira 63 Kobo per kilowatt, will start paying 38 Naira 41 Kobo per kilowatt, representing a hike of 13 Naira 78 Kobo. Industrial customers in the D3 category served by the Ikeja Disco who pay 25 Naira 82 Kobo per kilowatt currently will start paying 38 Naira 85 Kobo per kilowatt, representing an increase of 13 Naira 3 Kobo, among others. Meanwhile, residential customers of the Ibadan, Kano, and Potako discos, who currently pay 29 Naira 17 Kobo per kilowatt, will now pay 24 Naira 43 Kobo per kilowatt and 27 Naira 49 Kobo per kilowatt, will from April start paying 44 Naira 66 Kobo per kilowatt, and meanwhile, also 42 Naira 63 Kobo per kilowatt and 48 Naira 39 Kobo per kilowatt, respectively. Now, joining us in the studio is Femi Fadubal, a business development director of Cross Boundary Energy. Thank you for joining us on News on the Hour, Femi. Thank you for having me. Now, let's get talking this afternoon. What is your thought on the proposed hike in the electricity tariffs? Well, I guess, you know, I see both sides. Okay. I understand why people are frustrated and, and uh, concerned by it um, and also angry. But I also understand the justification of why this country might need to increase tariffs. So I, I think that it is worth saying, you know, let's wait and see. You know, in most countries, uh, including Nigeria, it's a bit weaker here, you have a social contract right, between the citizenry and the government, whereby I, as a taxpayer, I pay taxes, and you know, I pay maybe more in electricity fees. Yes. And in return, as a government, you give me services, public services, and also reliable power. Now, you say that uh, you feel the, hike, the proposed hike in tariffs is justifiable, but an average Nigerian feels the present poor and epileptic power supply do not justify an increase in the tariffs. How do you match those two? How do you agree? Well, I understand. Well, look, yeah. first of all, I'm not necessarily saying that it's justified. What okay. I'm saying is there is a world in which the government takes the first step in building that social contract. Yes. I think if most Nigerians believed that by paying more for power, they would have reliable power, let's say 100% power all day, every week, then I think we'd have a completely different discussion on our hands right now than what we have right now. The issue is the lack of trust. The issue is the fact that most people don't believe that come this time next year, come this time two years from now, that increase in tariffs would have led to a measurable increase in, in the value of the power being provided. Hmm. All right, Nick also explained in a statement that it doesn't intend to increase tariffs, but do a retrospective adjustment of tariffs. How do you react to this? Yeah, I mean, it's an interesting statement. I think it's a bit more in the semantics. What they're really okay. saying is that... A play of words? Yeah, a bit, a bit of a play of words. It's probably a generous way to, to put it. Um, all they're saying is that um, the currency, the Nigerian Naira, when compared to the dollar, has devalued. And so they've adjusted for that. Okay. Now, has the privatization of the sector achieved the purpose intended? And how can the federal government actually tackle the bottleneck associated with the distribution of the electricity in Nigeria? Sure. Um, I mean, I think if you ask most people working in this space, they would say that um, the privatization hasn't led to the results that we expected. Yeah. You know, as of January 2nd, the, mega, the, the number of uh, gigawatts in terms of generation capacity in this country uh, was 3.6 gigawatts, right? And that really hasn't moved. In fact, it's come down a little bit um, in that period since the privatization happened. And so okay. I think it's been disappointing in terms of outcome, but who knows, maybe we're at the start of a, a promising road. Okay. Now, would you say more? Would you say it's more of a generation problem or a distribution problem? I mean, it's all connected. Okay. Right. So, at the very end, you have the end user who pays money to Disco, and then the dis distribution company pays money to the transmission and grid company. The transmission grid company then pays money to the generation comp company. And so, if at this end is broken, then the whole pipeline 
is affected. Effective. So if you ask anyone in any segment of that chain, they will all complain and say that there's serious issues to resolve. Business Development Director across Boundary Energy, Femi Fadouba, thank you for joining us on News on the Hour. Pleasure.